What's up guys and gals and welcome to VV Vibes where I love talking about all things VV NFTs, speculation, most importantly, the market. So I'm just gonna just go right into what's being shown on the screen right now. Now, to be honest, I've been in the VV or just kind of like the NFT community for the last like two months now. Everyone's been more than welcoming, extremely positive. I've actually been really stoked to be part of a lot of the live streams, uh, people like including like VV Vault as well as some other platforms and Kyle and all those other people. Um, I've watched literally all the other YouTube content creators you can imagine. And to be honest, I haven't had a solid win or a drop where that actually netted me some significant profit, probably in like a little over a month and a half or so. The last one was when I won a storm, uh, but it was a common and I didn't get it delivered for like three hours later. But regardless, um, I was gonna show this to you guys and be like, look, I'm just like you guys. I don't win the drops all the time, it just happens. But um, I'll let the video kind of play out and just see how it goes uh, in the meantime. But just in general, like I'm really excited to, to make this video and just kind of start this channel because again, I just wanted to make it mainly as a thank you and just a way I can help out the community as much as I can because I've honestly had a lot of luck and success very early on in this community that has kind of given me the financial capability to try a lot of different things. And I just see people in the Discord and other places that are just clearly just asking for help, just trying to find the ropes, especially when it comes to market flipping. I think that's kind of where my expertise is going to come in. Um, as you can see here, I got really, really lucky with this blind box purchase and it's gonna take a while to kind of play out. But I really wanna help people in the community um, that are trying to find ways just to earn more gems. It seems like a lot of the other content creators and there's absolutely nothing wrong with this and I'm not a financial advisor. This is strictly just for entertainment and educational purposes only. But it seems like a lot of people are talking about long-term NFTs, blue chip NFTs. What are you gonna hodl for the next 10 years until it explodes, all that stuff which is all well and good. That is definitely legitimate like investing strategy with NFTs. But to be honest, I've had a lot of success just flipping NFTs. I tend to just hold them, be able to flip them sometimes within a few hours. Sometimes it takes a week, two weeks, just whatever, whatever it takes uh, in order to just kind of get the sale done and just find the next thing. Because uh, my whole thing is I'm trying to accumulate gems and like to be quite honest, I have more gems in my actual like VV wallet than I do in like my real life bank account right now. So I'm just trying to leverage that as much as I can grow my investment and just find ways to just make gems between these huge drops. Because sometimes um, I remember quite a few times before I just didn't have enough gems for drops. I couldn't participate. And as you can see here, I got extremely lucky. I've never had an ultra rare drop before. It's usually always been commons and uncommons, uh, except for one other time, which is probably a video for another time. Uh, I ended up getting a hot girl, uh, 1256, I believe. That was the mint. I sold it uh, very shortly after for about uh, 335 gems. So I found a really, really good entry point to sell that uh, before it really started going down. I think right as of right now on December 5th, that's probably about like 250 or something like that ish. That's since the last time I checked. But we're going to go ahead and jump over to this other screen. I just want to show you guys just some of the flips. That is not what I <laughs> what I meant to do. Uh, I just wanted to show you guys some of the flips that I've been doing. Um, just in the last, even just the last couple of days, since the beginning of December, like, and honestly, I'm trying to do my best. Like the one thing I want to do with my videos is just show me, at least just doing these flips, showing you guys that it's absolutely possible. Uh, it's honestly extremely hard in order to show off these flips without trying to do it like in the like transaction tab of the, of the VV app and all that stuff. And because I, I could take a picture as I'm buying it and all this other stuff. So if you guys have any recommendations on how I can actually show you guys that I'm actually doing these flips, I am making profit and what are some ideas and what, what do I look for when I'm trying to do these flips, which um, a huge shout out to Omi the Clown. He's done an absolutely amazing job with Ecomi Wiki, uh, like the marketing website. That site alone has legitimately made me hundreds if not thousands of gems between now and when I started doing all this flipping stuff. Uh, but I just wanted to show you guys at least just a couple few examples. Um, I copy and pasted all this stuff in Photoshop, so sorry if it looks a bit sloppy. Um, and I also do have two accounts. So I have two phones that I do this on. I, my very first account was Weasley81. That was my account that I initially started with getting all these NFTs and I was flipping them. Then I just was like, you know, I should make a YouTube channel. Like I've actually done it before with other video games and stuff like that. And I just love sharing with the community, immersing myself and kind of just sharing my expertise and just the success I've had. And I'm not saying by any means, I'm like the best flipping, uh, you know, market flipper or whatever it is for NFTs. Um, but I at least just want to share my experience and just document some of the success I've had so that way you guys actually have an outline of what to replicate if you guys were to do something like a short or midterm uh, flipping. So as you can see here, start with the Wonder Woman. I want to show my, my losses too. So I'm not just going to show you guys like the ones I just went on and all that stuff. I'm going to try my best to show the losses or at least the ones maybe I could have had a higher potential for. I don't think anyone saw this coming. When we look over here, like I bought a uh, Wonder Woman for 100 gems. Like I... I don't think anyone expected for the floor to fly up as fast as it did. Now I've done a pretty good job with the serial killers and some of the other drops before. I typically buy low, resell them high. I usually make anywhere between like 
20, 40, sometimes even like 80% profit on some of these things just from like buying low and selling them high. But in this case, I actually ended up selling the Wonder Woman at 140 because I saw there was a pretty solid wall forming at like 150 and I actually maintained there for about 30 minutes. And I don't like hanging out on the market for like four and a half hours straight after the drop. I typically just hang out for an hour, do some flips here and there as much as I can. And when I see a wall start to form, I tend to just flip it and just call it a day. I tend not to just um, rest, you know, try to look back and like, oh, I should have done this and that. Like typically with flipping, you can't get too emotionally invested and like come back like I should have done that. Like learn from the past. But don't get, I mean, I don't think anyone saw as of right now, Wonder Woman going up to 300 gems as it is right now since I last checked. Um, over here on the left, so I did that flip within like 15 minutes. If we look over here on the right for the Just Us color, so I actually bought this one on December 1st and less than two days later, I ended up flipping it for four, uh, 457. So it's a 37 gem profit I did the flip um, on that. So I bought it for 420, so uh, flipped it for 457. Down here in the bottom left, we have the Pitbull hoverboard. I just noticed that that was going down and down and down. Also, same thing with the sell orders were going up as well. I felt like it was a good position to buy it at uh, 306 and I managed it to sell it again about a day and a half later, later at uh, 345, which means I got a 39 gem profit on that. Uh, Batgirl, this was kind of another just like flip during like kind of like the market craze. Um, I was also juggling two phones at the same time. So I was like, had Batgirl on this phone. And I was looking at Wonder Woman on this phone and I was trying to figure out where to also sell my hot girl at a certain point. So that part kind of got a bit crazy. But uh, again, a 12 gem profit, like I'll take those all day. And I actually have another tab here. Um, sorry if it kind of explodes everything right here. Again, everything is just on like my uh, Photoshop. But again here, um, I actually bought three Day of the Dead uh, stamps on December 1st when they were about... Let me see here, about like 83 gems or so. Ended up flipping them later for about 90, like 93 to 95 gems. So as you can see here, I got 12 here, made 16 gem profit here as you scroll down. So I've actually been trying to transfer, when I decided to make the channel, I made a new account, VV Vibes. And as of right now, I'm just, I spent a good amount of time transferring about like 47 NFTs all the way from my, my, my Weasley account over to my VV Vibes account. Cause I want the VV Vibes account to start accumulating master collector points as soon as possible and just kind of have that be like my quote unquote main account. Um, I have some ideas for my Weasley 81 count that I might do a little bit later for like another video series. But for right now, I just wanted to show you guys that there is like good potential for flips that do um, happen in the market, especially like between drops before, during and after. Like there's plenty of opportunity here uh, in order to do, to do these flips. As you can see here, a lot of these are the, uh, like this one's the Day of the Dead Child with a Bow. Bought it at um, about 113, flipped it for 126. So it's a 13 gem profit. Um, and I think that was within, yeah, that was the same day actually. That was about four or five hours later. Just got a quick, um, I just had a really good timing on the one. Honestly, that one was, was mostly luck. It wasn't so much, uh, I knew the exact hour down to the uh, half day that I was gonna sell. I kind of ran out of room right here, but I did do the same thing here. I basically bought this one um, at 115. Uh, or sorry, 114, and I sold it for 125. So um, yeah, so it, for the most part, like I wasn't exactly sure what I wanted to do um, kind of with the channel as of right now. Like I want to be able to show you guys that there is opportunity for a lot of mid and uh, short-term flipping. It seems like all the channels, which is great stuff. I've learned so much and I can't thank everyone enough um, for all the information that I've got to like learned to up until this point. But I want to focus my channel mostly on like a lot of like the short midterm flips, what you guys could do. Uh, how do I read the ecomi.wiki site and figure out which ones I want to buy at which time? And then where, what's kind of like my valuing strategy? Sometimes I don't always just drop it at the floor. Sometimes I put it where the next wall is. I have a few different ideas of how I kind of price this out because I have made um, a few hundred gems over the last couple of days and then probably maybe a couple thousand or so over the last uh, month and a half or so. And that's only leveraging a small portion of my portfolio of gems. I always have a good stash set aside just in case Pokemon or something huge gets announced and all of a sudden the market crashes and I want to, I want to be able to take advantage of that or be able to buy some of those uh, really awesome NFTs off the secondary market. So yeah, down in the comments below, I would love to get like field any questions you guys may have about uh, flipping, about my history, you know, before, during or after, uh, you know, VV, anything like that. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll go ahead and catch you guys on the flip side.